Hi guys, Carl Wright here, and today I'm going to show you a way to build a Christmas tree with flashing lights in Minecraft. Now this isn't going to be the most spectacular tree in the world, and I'm sure we'll come up with some ways to improve it at the end of the video, but this is a great starting point for anyone who wants to build their own Christmas tree in Minecraft. First of all, we need to get some items together, so we need some oak wood. We also need to get ourselves some oak leaves as well. And now we need some uh, redstone items, so we need a detector rail, power rails, we need normal rails, and we need to get ourselves some redstone torches, and some lamps, and some redstone dust as well, and a repeater. So first things first, we need to choose an area where we're going to build our Christmas tree. This is where I build uh, the Christmas tree for my world on my server every year. I build it in this area. Uh, so we go three across and then one and then three across this way. And we basically go around, uh, keep into that pattern of three, one in and then three uh, to make the, this is going to be the main base of the tree. We need to place some wood in the middle there, directly in the middle, to put our torch on, to put one of our redstone torches on. Uh, but first we need to build up these two high uh, to give ourselves some room underneath for our, all of our presents under our Christmas tree, of course. So we build up the middle, leaving a gap between them, so we build up four with uh, gaps in between them. Now, those are for the redstone torches to go on. So it's four, so it's oak, torch, oak, torch, oak, torch, oak, torch, all the way up there. And now we're gonna start out the mechanism that's gonna be for our lights. So we need to dig away all of the ground here to make ourselves a nice area that we're gonna be able to uh, set up our little redstone clocks. We leave that area there so we can get up and also we can uh, do the redstone to there as well. So we're going to carve out a big area of land here. So we're going to go two in here. We're, we're basically going to make a giant area where we're going to put in our minecart track, which is going to be what we're going to use to make a very simple redstone clock. So we've nearly got rid of everything here. It's getting a bit dark in here, so we're going to put in some glowstone as well, uh, so we can see what's going on. You can use torches. Uh, if you're building this in survival and you haven't got all of these items, then there's other things you can use as well, such as torches. Um, now, the track itself. So the track itself is going to be here, so we need three in the middle, one for a power rail and two detector rails and that all the way around. So it goes detector rail, power rail, detector rail, null rail on the corners, like so. And this is so uh, the minecart will power the power rails as it goes round, and also we're gonna use the detector rail for the lights as well. So we're gonna connect redstone to this detector rail here. That's gonna turn the redstone signal on and off uh, which will then in turn turn the lights on the tree on and off as well. Uh, so that's not worked out very well. So if we get rid of that one, and we'll go down one more here and one more there. Bob the redstone signal there so it doesn't connect to each other. There we go. So it basically goes to that torch, turns it off, turns the one above it on, on off, on off, on off. So that will make the lights that go up the tree go on and off, on and off, like they're twinkling. So that's pretty much all done now. The minecart track is working well. That minecart will go all the way around. And when it hits that detector rail, it turns on the redstone signal. Next, we need to build out these platforms. So we need to build out three on this level. So we go one, two, three, and then put in a redstone lamp and the same all the way around so we'll do the same on this side as well so go three out and then a redstone lamp now you don't have to use oak for this bit because we're not going to be able to see it 
um, but I'm just using oak because I have that in my inventory already and it matches in with the tree itself uh, but when I was designing this um, tree I was using dirt for this bit and it didn't really make a difference okay so that's the bottom layer done the middle layer is two in so as you can see as we're going up here we're going one more in each time so the tree will slope upwards like Christmas trees do and so we'll just finish off these so it's two out on this one and then we'll add in our redstone lamps as well on here so we add those in so these are going to be our Christmas lights okay the top one we're just going to go one out on each of the sides here uh, I came up with a few different designs of how to do this but this was the simplest way and um, it looks the best of the ones that I came up with but I'm sure you guys will have some good ideas as well. I bob in some redstone dust on uh, each of the blocks leading to the lamps from the torches. So as you can see here they're already flashing so if you bob the redstone on all these um, my world is slowing down a bit at this point so the flashing might be a little bit uh, hit and miss but if you're doing this on a on a server that doesn't have lag and um, or in a local survival or creative world then it'll be a, a lot smoother okay so that's the lights themselves done now we need to make it look like an actual Christmas tree so we're gonna add in our leaves. So for this design basically I'm going to go around each of the lamps like this so three above it and then one on either side of the lamp and you can see here how it steps in as it goes up like so. So it keeps the kind of Minecraft blockiness but it also um, looks like an actual Christmas tree as well and not too much like it's uh, been built by hand. So you just add those in, three leaves on top and one on either side there. So if we do this all the way around and then we can fill in the sides, add our presents and we have our Christmas tree. Okay, now we've done each of the sides there. We can now do the little bits in between. So we follow the same pattern again, two up on the bottom one and then we go one in as well and then we build that up too as well just to match the pattern of the sides there as well so we'll do that all the way around again okay so we're just finishing off the last side here and we can take a look at our Christmas tree alright so we just need to bob the top on it now so on the top here we need to go one layer in get rid of that one and build it up here so you're building up a 3x3 three three square and then adding one on the top bob in a glowstone for the star and there you have it there's the main Christmas tree all sorted now you can add some presents in as well so we'll do that now we'll clear out our inventory and get ourselves some different colored walls here so we get a nice orange, oh too many, <laughs> get one of those, a nice magenta, nice yellow, light blue, a red one, lime green and we'll get ourselves a chest as well to put all the presents in. So we'll build up on these sides here, so we'll build up the different colours here like so, so these are going to be like presents that have been wrapped up uh, that go at the side of the Christmas tree so if we break those out we can actually put some chests in there which will actually have the presents in themselves and bob in a nice orange one there and we'll do the same on the other side here at the front of our Christmas tree so if we bob in our chests first on this side and then we can bob in our different coloured wool that's acting as our presents and there we have it those are on as well so you can see the presents under the Christmas tree now it doesn't look very festive does it because this is not a snow biome so I'm gonna use some white carpet to make it look like snow 
Now in the past I have used actual snow and if you put torches near it or anything or uh, you're not in a snow biome sometimes it can just like um, melt and disappear so that's not very good so that's why I'm using carpet here just to make sure that the pattern that I put in here actually stays there and doesn't end up disappearing. So I bob that in. There we go, that's looking a bit more Christmassy now as well, isn't it? Alright, so we've added the snow in all the way around the tree there, but we can also add it on the leaves itself. Let's make it look a little bit more like Christmas. So if we add that on the each of the layers of leaves. And we'll just finish off by filling in the top of the tree with our snow. So there you have it guys, that is how I go about building a Christmas tree in Minecraft with flashy lights as well. So I hope you've really enjoyed this tutorial, we'll take a look inside now. And you can see here it's very compact with all the redstone in here, you can put some repeaters on here and set them to two or three ticks uh, just to vary the flashing of the lights there you could add some of those in but I like it the way it is so that's our little redstone clock there so it's really simple to build and I'm sure you know you can improve it and make it bigger make it more flashy in your world but that's a great starting point for you so there you go guys that's how to build a Christmas tree with flashing lights in Minecraft I hope you enjoyed that tutorial guys, if you did hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And check out my other tutorial videos as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!